from the Fox 59 Newsroom. It is a heartbreaking morning after the death of the Hendricks County Sheriff's deputy. Yeah, the deputy died following injuries from a downed power line while responding to a single car crash. Fox 59's Kit Hanley has been live for us all morning with the very latest. Kit, good morning. Angela, Daniel, we've been following this heartbreaking story all morning long. We were at Eskenazi Hospital for the 4 a.m. briefing. We were at the procession where officers from several different agencies came to pay their respects to Deputy Fred Fistler. And now we're here right outside of the Marion County Coroner's Office where Deputy Fred Fistler's body is now draped in an American flag as they prepare him for burial. Now officers say he will never be forgotten and he will never be alone. There is an IMPD officer by his side right now. Now, here's what we've been able to find out this morning. Last night, the Hendricks County Sheriff's Office lost a two and a half year deputy named Fred Fistler. At 11.49 p.m., Hendricks County deputies responded to a single vehicle crash where Deputy Fred Fistler then arrived at the scene at 11.54 p.m. And minutes later, a witness radioed the police after seeing that Deputy Fistler was down. Officers say he had been electrocuted by downed power lines at the scene of the crash. Deputy Fistler was then transported to Eskenazi Hospital in critical condition, and he later died at 12.59 a.m. Sheriff Jack Sadler with the Hendricks County Sheriff's Office shared his condolences in a heartbreaking briefing this morning. Our hearts are broken for the Fistler family, for our department family, and for our community family. I hope that everyone will come together and show honor and to a true hero of our community. Deputy Fistler was loved by many and he leaves behind a wife and two young children and we are told that officers are still on the scene working this investigation. Of course, we will continue to keep you updated as more information comes along. For now, reporting live in downtown Indianapolis, Kid Hanley, Fox 59 News. Thank you so much and all morning.